Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. Is the magical time. Hello everybody, Jamin here. It is Sunday afternoon for me. I just got home from the obligatory Mexican restaurant after church on Sundays, like a lot of families still do. I'm old fashioned. I'm a rebel. I'm married, two kids, and I go to church. Dems fighting words, right? So, what do I do now? Now I'm in my office and I'm gonna watch this ILHC 2019 Slow Invitational Jam. And I love this kind of competition because I don't really dance slow a lot for competition. It's kind of hard to judge. Like two people are having a good moment and slow dancing and everybody's watching you going, they're not really feeling that. Or they look fake or they're trying too hard. I, I don't know. These are hard to judge. For me, I'm going to be looking at uh, some different things when it's slow because typically... Uh, you're not dancing in swing time. It depends on how fast the tempo is, but generally speaking, a lot of times, for me, it's slow when you can no longer dance in the metronome, like consistently and like triple step. Um, so I'm gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what people can do when you don't have that swing rhythm there and still make it interesting without it being campy and just crowd pleasing. You know what I mean? You, I hope you know what I mean. I don't want it to be too silly. Um, but I also want to see what people could actually do to make it look good. So, with that being said, let's jump right into this video. And here we go. Okay. Peter Strom. Now he can dance slow, folks. And he's got his he's got his lovely wife pulling no punches. Yes, you see what I mean? Don't let this big man fool you. <laughs> Get it, Peter. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> She's about to make him like freestyle. <laughs> he almost did a running man. Did you see that? I saw it. That dress too, look at that. Ah. Ay! That grown folks dancing. That's that married with kids dancing. It's another level, folks. Ah, that transition was dope, bro. Ah. Laura and Woo -hoo -hoo! That was good. The timing was good. Nothing's rushed. Let's see what's going on with this couple. That's hilarious. Taking his jacket off, you better be ready. <laughs> yes, right there. <laughs> yes. She was like, sorry. I don't know she, who she was saying sorry to. <laughs> that was 
was good, really rhythmic, really rhythmic. I love this guy. For me, he's like the he's like the butcher on uh, Gangs of New York. Some of you young folks don't know that movie, but. Yeah, he's see how he's using the technique, moving, moving. She's getting it. That's the part I don't like. I don't like that crowd stuff. There we go. There we go. There we go! <laughs> yes! I did not see that coming. They made it up with that split. <laughs> it's right. There we go, some humor. Yeah, make her work for her a little bit. She's like, oh, my back, my back. Here we go. He <laughs> took that head movement, I love that. Yes, don't play, folks. You see what I mean? He's not just... This is good dancing. They're still moving together. Shapes, control. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this tempo is really hard to make good look good in a groove. So I can see a lot of them working hard not to move too fast, and it's tough. So far right now, I got this couple right here at, at first, Peter and Naomi, and then I probably got, uh, as much as I didn't like that silly stuff, I got Kevin and his partner, Mina, second so far. Lead. Yes. Yes. Good following. Nothing is rushed. It's controlled. Nothing. Yeah. That's. Yes. Thank you. All right. Let's see what's going on. This was the rhythmic couple. Michael Jackson beat it. Can we still dance to Michael Jackson? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Still gets points for me. Alright, this could be the tiebreaker. Let's see what's going on. See? 
Still good, still good. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> I like the clamp. Just clamp that arm, rip it around. It looks so painful, but she's not in pain. <laughs> she was like, aren't you going to shake? Aren't you going to shake? He's like, nah. I'm not shaking it. Ah! Yes, yes! Good music. I can dance to this kind of stuff for hours. Maybe not hours, like maybe two songs. surprised there wasn't that many contestants in this particular competition. That was good. I love good, good slow dancing. You know, when I watch slow dancing, it tells me a lot about uh, a person's ability to manipulate the technique. And that technique I'm talking about is just simply transferring energy to another body. Leader, giving energy, follower, receiving energy, and then moving harmoniously like one body sharing energy at two different points. I love seeing it done well. And if I was judging this competition sitting smack down in the middle, watching this, I'm first gonna be looking for that technique. I am a stickler on what can you do with the actual technique, and then what can you do to embellish it with the timing, and then what can you do to do something I have not seen before, which is that creative element. So if I'm looking at this, I didn't, I'm not gonna be able to judge the thing I haven't seen them for. I had, I did see some really amazing attempts to do stuff that looked painful, but uh, I think it was Arena. She did some kind of split and was just like dragging. I'm like, dang, I hope that floor is polished because you know, you're going to get splinters like crazy, like moving like that. That was pretty legitimate. That was awesome. I don't like a lot of campy stuff for when it's slow because the audience is going to roo-roo and rah-rah over anything that looks silly. It's just dumb sometimes. And it becomes repetitive. And, and you know what I'm talking about. So when you're watching it and you don't cheer and you hear the people doing that, you probably are like me, like, come on. <sighs> let's, let's see some more. So I didn't see too much of that. I did see a little bit of that in this competition. Um, kind of depending, you know, trying to get the audience to rah-rah you. Maybe because they know who you are. I don't know. I don't know if that was the case or they were just liking being campy. But what I like the most was when I saw two couples moving as one body, shifting and moving in control and patience. And it was it was really interesting watching Peter and Naomi because there was no rhythm part. And I, when I watch them dancing, I when I'm struggling with rhythm, it could be a bad day, I go back and I watch their dancing to be more inspired, just to kind of get the groove back in me. But because they didn't have that groove, they were able to just kind of walk with the rhythm, just walk with it. It allowed me to see how good they are as technicians. That, for me, was the biggest part of this competition. I got to really get a snapshot of how good these dancers move when the tempo is super slow. And for me, they, was, they were the kings. It was icing on the cake. They also had the better timing, in my opinion. I liked their timing. Nothing really seemed forced. Um, at this tempo, you don't really want things to be forced. You know what I mean? It's like a first date, and you're just like... You know, she was like, wait, bro, just two more dates, <laughs> two, two more dates. Then, you know, it could be at a different level. But there was just like this cautious coolness, risk taking, not too much at the at the wrong time. Perfect, in my opinion. I like that kind of competition. They would have got like an A, A plus. Um, second place for me, as much as I didn't like the campy stuff, I would have probably given it to Kevin and Irini, Irine, uh, his partner. Um just because of her primarily. She was doing stuff on the floor and splits and 
you know, accentuating some things. They didn't do too much uh, rhythmic stuff to where it just kind of seemed cluttered. Um, but also they did some stuff that was just kind of like, uh, I don't want it, the silly stuff, guys. You know, I like the silly stuff sometimes when it's not expected, but I kind of expected some of it to happen with, with, with their dancing. And it did, and it kind of took me out of it. But aside from looking at that, if I was judging what they did, I liked what they did because of what he was allowing her to do in, in a sense of creating that opportunity to do a lot of things. And so I was able to look at her length and her flexibility. I'm like, wow, she knows how to like move her body um, when she has the freedom to do it without always just constantly responding to being led, if you know what I mean. So that part was great because I saw patience with the leader and I saw uh, ingenuity with the follower risky ingenuity the splits on the ground sliding thing but that's it for me i think those are the top two the other couples kind of had the same strengths and weaknesses i don't really need to elucidate on those implications because i wasn't it took me out of it it's just like that as a judge you know i'm going to immediately go to the thing that i'm looking for and that is the technique first and the timing of it and then something flashy and cool and so if the flashy and cool thing is high and the timing is off and the control isn't really clear. There's not like the leader's not waiting and like being patient to see what happens. Then you usually can tell. You usually can tell. And so that's what I would say on this one, guys. What do you think? I could be wrong. Who do you think won this competition? You might like a lot of rhythmic dancing. You like might like a lot of uh, silly, silly uh, personifications of dance on stage. I could be wrong. What do you like? I want to hear what you have to say. Hit me up in the comments section. I love slow dancing. I hope you love it too. It's not as boring as it might seem when you're watching it, but it really is satisfying when you're dancing. It's a good breather um, when you're just dancing fast a long time and you finally get that slow one that says, hey guys, we got late night, ta late, late night tacos and the, the band switches out and now we got some slow music and it's just like, boom, boom. You're like, okay. This is the time where I can kind of groove out. For me, I like it this tempo every once in a while, but I also like like mid-tempo, like right around 140 beats a minute, right there. It's that special spot. But that's me. Those are the couples who won. I want to know what you think. Hit me in the comments section. If you were wanting to learn how to slow dance like this, I encourage you, get plugged in. You can take lessons from these people. I'm sure they have schedules and things like that all over the world. Go take a live class because they all know what they're doing, particularly at this invitational level. They're, they're all just good dancers. If you don't travel and you are just like, look, I want to learn how to do this like right now. I want to dance with my wife this way or my girlfriend or you want to just get out there and just mix up your dancing. Take some of my free lessons below. I got a lot of stuff out there. It's really free. Um, you can get a sample of what it's like being a part of our online community. We got students all over the world tuning in to our technique and how we do things and getting fresh content every single week to help placate their Lindy Hop itches because we all have this disease and we don't have a cure for it. We just keep doing it. And I love that. We call it the jitterbug. Good old jitterbug. Anyway, uh, hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.